Linda Hyken works nearly full time, perfectly preserving the bounty of her garden by canning the fruits and vegetables she grows on her central Iowa acreage. The abundance of her efforts is creatively showcased in sparkling jars that have earned her many Iowa State Fair top awards. So we have pear relish, and I have some lime pickles, and I have some cinnamon cucumber rings, and then of course jams and jellies. The ones that I cover with material are ones that I give away. You can't have the material on the top when you enter them at the State Fair. Linda has entered the canning competition at the State Fair for 14 years. Her positive work ethic and creativity have earned her many awards that in turn have inspired her to work even harder. There's a total of 740 ribbons that I have here. So it'd be fun to make a quilt out of them someday, maybe a king size quilt. You learn a lot from the judges' comments and it's so fun to see how many points you earn. I believe one year I received 25 100% credits. It makes you want to work harder, but you have to have your work be fun. In 1992, Linda entered her first state fair canning competition. And I believe I took maybe nine or 10 jars and I received three blue ribbons. Through the years, Linda's canning expertise has grown, and so have the number of her state fair entries. Sometimes I try to say, okay, I'll just enter 30 jars this year. Well, there were two years I entered 100 jars. Now this year, I'll go with 50, at least 50 jars. Linda's time is also dedicated to taking care of a variety of eager four-legged companions, a flock of feathered friends, and tending the produce she grows and then cans. Quite a bit we do grow in our garden, and what we don't grow, we purchase at the farmer's markets. Working in harmony with the seasons, Linda lives by the motto from vine to the brine, canning produce as soon as it's ripe. Normally I start out the season with asparagus. And pretty soon, the green peppers, cucumbers, lots of cucumbers will be ready. I'm just busy all day, every day. Getting ready for the state fair, I could probably go 12 hours a day, five days a week. It's just, once I get started, it's just hard to stop. Linda has spent countless hours in her cozy kitchen preparing her canning entries for state fair competition and agreed to share some of her award-winning expertise. You should have clean, hot jars and then start packing your produce. You can't just let your produce sit there. Your jar will cool down. So you do have to kind of work fast. I just have to stop and look at it for a moment and rearrange the vegetables to make it look pretty. It's fun to experiment and to always find new recipes. You do have to follow the USDA guidelines as far as processing and the proper headspace. 15 pounds pressure for 35 minutes. On the jams and jellies, they're a quarter inch headspace, which is not very much. And then everything should be covered with the liquid. So you put your hot lid on, put the band on, and then either pressure can it or water bath. And you need to check with the extension office on your processing times because of the altitude. Polk County is different than Dallas County by about five minutes. Linda devotes much of her summer to preparing her state fair entries. In the fall, she continues to can, working on produce such as apples and pumpkins. Finally, before Thanksgiving, she stores her equipment away. And as the snow flies, her imagination burns bright. Oh, I think about it all year. You just think of what you would like to do and try to be prepared. I don't know where I would end up if I entered breads and pies or cookies. I just get busy with canning. 
I'm happy with this.